the Good Neighbors program is a stewardship program with private property owners across the Capital Regional District. We provide landowners with tools to become effective stewards, which can include gardening with native plants, in removing invasive species, and creating wildlife habitat. The Good Neighbors program was inspired by the fact that over 80% of the land mass in the CRD is privately owned. These are critical pieces of wildlife habitat across the region and a lot of those private property owners are wanting to know how can we better steward the land in our backyards. We have been working on the Good Neighbors program for 15 years and since then have engaged over 850 landowners across the Capital Regional District. My name is Heloise Snickel and I live on a piece of land and own a piece of land in Machosen that is still relatively wild. There's a lot of native plants here, but it's totally been changed by humans. It's been logged. This area used to all be Daphne and it's mainly been cleared out. The Good Neighbors program has really helped us to learn about our own land and what is important to keep and what is important to remove and how to improve the health of the land. This house was literally built on a Gary Oak Meadow and I can see remnants of that all around. So I just want to try and improve that meadow again. My name is Rod Mitchell. Uh, I'm uh, I'm a chosen resident and we're standing here at a little wetland that I put together after finding frogs living in a wet test hole and I decided there wasn't enough water for me to use so we turned it over to the frogs and made it better. That's the short version. I had the advantage of being involved with HAT and I had experts come out and tell me how I could make it better for free. Yeah, that's a big deal. Pat came out and planted a number of native plants all through here and they, they've been, they did well. I'm Mithya Harris and I'm here in Calypso Woods in the southern part of Vancouver Island. And I'm Scott Harris and I'm here too. <laughs> I don't know where I am. <laughs> So this land is in a corridor from the East Sioux Park right to the Sioux Hills Wilderness Park. And so the animals have to go back and forth and so by, by putting a covenant on it and protecting the land, you're, you're ensuring safe passage, for especially the big animals like the bears, the cougars and the wolves. And, and people soon see that when they start doing these kinds of things. We live in an area here where development is rampant everywhere you look forests are being torn down, uh, basically log and, and development is happening. And that's the future, if, unless something, somebody does something about it. And our concern was that, you know, we right now are protectors of this land and we love the land, but what happens when we're no longer around? And when that happens, then we want to make sure the land is protected by organizations like HAT, because that means this land has a chance to become an old growth forest like it should be. There's a sense of community that is created in neat ways. You know, when I see another habitat acquisition sign, I know immediately I can have a conversation with that person and they get me. It's a way for people to come together and have an excuse to get together in community and help the land. You know, as we're talking about that, I'm thinking about the love you feel for a pet and the way you, you know, we cuddle with them, we pet them, we kiss them and we just schmoozle them, right? And it's such a nice feeling. And I think feeling the same way about the land is important. Everything you do impacts it, and it's really important to be kind and loving. It's a pretty tiny wetland, but I still like it. In the life of a forest, we're here for a very short time. And so we just love the land and so we want to see it protected. For the next person that buys it, then it's still, it will still be protected. 
If you're interested in becoming a habitat steward and you want to learn more, you can contact the habitat stewardship staff at HAT and you can also get a land care assessment where we'll come in and meet with you on the land and identify some of your stewardship goals and we'll be happy to help in any way we can to offer resources and tools to get you there.